What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a very special video and if you take a close look right now I am in Clantonimo Bay as well as with a bunch of other Forge from Steel members and we have a very special war going on against Emphatic Elite and what this actually is is it's a dysfunctional family set up between Clantonimo Bay and Forge from Steel, also known as Forge by the Bay, taking on Emphatic Elite and the One Hive 2.0 family. Uh, so basically the breakdown, guys, look at this war. This is absolutely insane. So this war is a 1238 breakdown. Uh, if you do the math, that is a 50 v 50. No Town Hall 9s, just Town Hall 11s and Town Hall 10s. As you go ahead and take a look at everybody in this war. Again, this is everybody from Quantanamo Bay and Forge from Steel, aka Forge by the Bay, going all the way down here to number 50, and same thing on their side. So basically, the rules of this war, there really aren't any. Uh, well, there is one. There is one rule, and that is uh, for our Town Hall 11s. And there's going to be a combined 24 attacks with our Town Hall 11s. 12 of those attacks combined can be on dips. The other 12 attacks are, have to be used 11 v 11. So it doesn't have to mean you know each Town Hall 11 does a dip, one does 11 v 11. It's just a combined 12. But besides that, it is just going to be a heavy hitter war like we have never seen before. It's going to be absolutely insane. Going to be a lot of fun. And those are the main details. Again, both of our clans are out of CWL. So we do have a series of arranged wars uh, coming up. Uh, same thing with next weekend. Uh, we'll talk about that a little later. But basically what this video is going to be, as we can take a close look right here, we do have 13 minutes before this war starts. So just kind of want to do a, a live on battle day uh, kind of thing. And, you know, just show you guys some attacks live from the beginning, middle, and hopefully the end of the war, if the schedule permits, uh, with, you know, being the weekend and everything. But stay tuned, and we will come right back to hopefully catch some live attacks. See, check out the map. Oh, we have another live. Here we go. We're getting going. We got Tweaks Coffee coming in here, uh, doing it with a hog attack. Uh, he's actually cleaning up my attack on this one, uh, making a couple slight adjustments. Let's go ahead and see how this one pans out. Basically, on my hit, I left up these defenses right here. Now that we know that there's a hound in the CC, he's basically going to sui his AQ and try to trim all those defenses that my hogs um, were not able to make their way through. And just with a jump spell on the kill squad, guys, gets really, really good value. Um, I brought a freeze uh, for this IT right here. Looks like he's just going with four heal. So let's go ahead and see what happens if he, if his BK can go ahead and take out that Inferno Tower. Uh, he should be able to, especially under ability. He should be able to get to that Inferno Tower no problem. Uh, let's see where he's going to go. If he's going to beat on... It looks like he's beating on a wall. But the Valks end up getting the Inferno Tower completely clutch right there very very nicely done here comes the hogs with a nice two finger drop uh, looks like he's going to have a heal coming into or just before that inferno tower right there i do see oh no the hound popped and he does not have a poison this is very not good uh, let's go ahead and see uh, they're pretty much going to get to that Inferno Tower, no problem. There's not even a giant bomb by that Inferno Tower, but those pups are just completely, just completely wrecking his hogs. Very not good. Uh, queen, I believe it was the Queen that ended up popping that enemy hound. Uh, wow, that is very unfortunate. Ends up swagging two uh, heal spells on this one. Very nice try. Uh, to Tweaks Coffee on that one. Had a, I mean, solid plan. You get a lot of value, guys. From that kill squad right there, um, man, that is that is really rough. But I mean, this is how I mean this is how this is ten v ten, guys. It's not all glitz and glam uh, like we see in the war recaps. Very very difficult, uh, very very tough. So we'll go ahead and see if we get another attack uh, popped off here as we are winding down uh, to the nineteenth hour of this war. So we'll be back when we see another live.
All right, guys, we are back, and we already have a live. Oh, and no other than Lady B going in, uh, doing a queen walk bitch on number 38. Um, we have seen her take down a fully maxed uh, Town Hall 10 like this one uh, before, so we know that she can do it again. Let's go ahead and see. Just logging on, guys. Uh, just woke up uh, not, not that long ago. A little less than six hours left in war. I uh, was going to go ahead and check out the war map, but we have a live already. Uh, even dropping a nice quake right there, getting good value, trying to take uh, that 25% away from that Inferno Tower, even getting uh, the, yeah, even hitting the Expo as well. So coming in from 9 to 6, uh, double jump, 2 rage, and a heal, very, very common uh, spell composition for this attack right here. Looks like a good funnel. Everything is going to be heading in here. And that second jump should actually lead everything into this back end inferno. So let's see. Yep, there it goes right there. So depending on how everything paths, uh, definitely could be set up for it. Not a lot of DPS on the, you know, around the 12 o'clock area of this base as mo uh, the majority of it is, is air defenses. So let's see, looking decent, um, kind of petering out here. Does, she does have a few witches in the core. Not a whole lot left on the flanks, though. Uh, that witch just went down to that cannon. So uh, it still has a couple witches. Quite a few bowlers, though. As the bowlers emerge, guys, this looks like it is going to be a three-star. Uh, the only point defense left is that Tesla by the town hall. Does she have any heroes left? Uh, a king with just a cunt here. Look at that king. Look at his health. Oh, man, where's her queen? Oh, yeah, that's her queen right there. Oh, man, this is going to be really, really close. Holy crap. Uh, anything in the corners? Bowlers are trying to beat through... See, that's the only thing you can't times four when it's when it's uh, when it's alive. So we don't know what is exactly going to happen here. Forty-two seconds. Uh, if everything clumps up, goes up to twelve and then runs back down. She even has a witch though. Oh man, thirty seconds. I just don't think it's going. to Has any of this been touched yet? No, this is all full. Oh man. Very, very close attack here uh, from Lady B. Not going to get it. It's going to be a time fail with only 15 seconds left. And all that stuff right there hasn't even been touched yet. Uh, all full health. So very, very nice try uh, to Lady B on this one. So we'll give her a very, very nice try. Okay. Let's go ahead and check out the map. Like I said... We have a little less than... Who's under attack here? Okay, hi, who's under attack? All right. We'll go ahead and start off at the bottom. Uh, we have Killer went ahead and took out number 50. Uh, Craze took out number 47. We have her hat. Uh, oh, we have another live. Holy crap. This is why I'm not a streamer. Okay, so, and we have Chesty Pull. I, who, who is it? Is this Seabass? I want to say I think this is Seabass uh, on an alt uh, Town Hall 10 right here. Could be wrong. Uh, did it with Miners again. This this obviously went pear-shaped really, really quick. A lot of defenses left. So this is also going to be, this is also going to be a very, very nice try. Um, is that is that Seabass? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I know a lot of the CB guys. don't know every single one of them. Uh, just like us, you know, they do have quite a few alts as well. Okay, so we left off. So we have Killer took out 50. We have Craze took out 47. And we have, um, we have Rahat. Oh, very nice. Taking out, taking out number 42. What did he use? CB Lalo. Very, very nice. Taking this one out with CB Lalo. I do know that one was a cleanup. We had a really, really nice plan for that one. Maybe I can go back. Uh, nice job to Rahat. So we have three 10v10s from what I counted earlier. Still a lot of fresh, fresh bases. Yeah, these one, all these upper Town Hall 10s, uh, we've dipped with our 11s. But we do have something really nice and sweet to show you guys right here. Number seven, Mr. Copro taking out number seven. So if we look at it, we have a total of 12 three-stars. We've had three 10v10s. 
won 11 v 11. So, and we can have a total of 12 dips in total from our 11. So we've used eight of those. So we can, so we, yeah, we can still use four 11 v 10 dips and we have an 11 v 11. So very, very nice. Um, and most of our 11s, or excuse me, most of their 11s, we've already two starred. A few of those, or, or quite a few of those have been, oh, we have another live. All right, we have Killer going in. This was the same guy who took out number 50. Uh, he did take it out with Bitch, did not go uh, with the minor attack. So we'll go ahead and see. Uh, let's see, how is he going to get to the back end Inferno? Because I did see this base earlier, uh, just when we were scouting it, checking out bases. And I'm not sure how he's going to get to that back end Inferno. You know, ideally with a bitch attack, ideally you want to get to the, you know, you want to be able to access both Inferno Tower compartments with two jumps. So obviously he's going to be jumping in, which is always ideal. Uh, very rarely do wall break in and then, you know, use your jumps later. Uh, the troops, just how they all funnel into that, you know, the wall, the, the wall, segment that's bro it just never seems to, to really work so here goes the second jump into the core uh where's his queen see he's doing a suey the queen so i mean ideally he can either get a bowler bounce and get that it not doesn't look like it's going to happen right there or he could just have the king kind of beat through the wall oh does have a nice skelly spell uh absorbing and the king ends up breaking through the wall very very nice very very nice and i didn't even see I didn't even see that he had uh, the Skelly spell. This is a guarantee three-star right here. Killer completely smashed this base. Check this out. Even has the queen up. So that naked queen walk lasted from <laughs> lasted from 9 o'clock, wrapping around to 6. She is still up. Holy crap. That was a very, very, um, a very, very nice attack. Uh, what the hell is that? Very, very nice attack from Killer. Getting the six-pack, guys. Uh, using Bitch just completely shit on this base. Uh, very, very nicely done. Um, from Killer, getting a 10v10. Uh, getting a 10v10 six-pack. Uh, we actually got to catch a 10v10 live. So that was, that was even... That was amazing. Okay, so now we have four 10v10s. Two of them coming from him. So go ahead and look right here. Uh, where? Oh, crap. Where is he actually at? Where is Killer actually at? On There he is right there. Uh, number 26, getting a 10v10 six-pack. All right, well, that didn't take long. Here we have Nick uh, coming in here. We have Nick coming in here on number 49, uh, doing it with mass miners. Uh, yeah, 47 miners. Four heals, a rage, and a quake. Just trying to soften up that inferno tower compartment right there. Uh, let's see what happens here. What is he going to do? This is a fresh hit, so we you know, we don't actually know if there is a. We don't actually know if there's a hound in uh, the CC on this one. So we'll go ahead and check it out. Let's see. So Queen might be just kind of meeting up, just funneling uh, that six o'clock area for those miners so they don't have to yeah so they don't have to get over there uh let's go ahead and see uh goes ahead and drops down the heal spell followed up by the poisons um we have a hound a hound and something came out of the cc didn't even see what exactly it was might have been uh whiz archer i uh, didn't even actually see what that other troop was uh king doing work though on the other side uh, just funneling all that trash. And bowlers behind, bringing bowlers in the CC. Uh, so basically just trying to set that flank. How many, it's so hard to tell with this attack, how many, how many troops are actually left here. Looks like he's kind of petering out uh, towards the back end here. But with these miners, they just kind of, I mean, they just kind of show up as the attack's going on. Look at this, the Inferno Tower going down, which is absolutely key. And this also looks like it's going to be a three-star. Okay, queen's already down, so there's nothing that can pop that hound. We might have... Do we have back-to-back -back 10v10s right here? Very, very nicely done to Nick168. Uh, again, that, that minor attack can be so tricky. Uh, it just seemed seem like 
things were just kind of dying out towards the end, but you had about 10 miners suck on uh, to that Inferno Tower and take it out, and there's only a few, uh, really just a few point defenses left. So that was a very, very nice attack uh, by Nick there. Look at this under war events. Getting back to back, yep, those were both fresh. Wow, very, very nice. So we have two uh, back to back 10 V10s, both of them being fresh. So we're definitely um, definitely in good shape here. Let me see, the score right now is 80 to 74. Our break only lasted about 30 seconds uh, before, <laughs> before we came back and had that live. Uh, but pretty much we've broken down what's actually happened in the war so far again. Uh, coming up with only just about five and a half hours left uh, when this war ends. We'll be back when we have another live attack, though. Oh, we do have another live. We got Seabass going in here and doing it with drags. Was on voice with him a, a little bit while he was playing this out. So definitely a good plan. Uh, Going to try to take out all these air defenses with an epic queen charge and basically dragging uh, the other side. And with that recent buff they received, we are seeing a lot more dragon attacks and for very good reason they have just been i mean they just it's just they just kind of push through the base forever so let's go ahead and see uh what happens here getting some good bowler bounces uh getting pretty good value uh setting up a nice funnel to make sure the queen goes the right way and yes <laughs> seabass has 12 wall breakers uh he's bringing along with this attack there goes the first group right there uh to go ahead and take out uh, the first group of air defenses right here uh, goes in, drops a rage, drops a poison to make sure he gets that loon right there taken down. Uh, poison was down in plenty of time. And that hound's going to be melting pretty quick as the queen is inside that rage. So there it goes. Uh, just trying to take care of all those pups right there. Uh, didn't bring any minions to help out, so she's going to have to shoot these pups one by one. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. He does still have... Uh, after that rage, he does still have two more rages and even a jump that he's going to be planning on using for the queen. So let's go ahead and see. All right, so she is inside the compartment that he wants her to be in. Uh, baby drag gets the archer tower down, but does end its life on that AD right there. So let's go ahead and see. So here comes the next group. Here comes the next group of wall breakers. There it goes. So, and he did funnel that left side at about 7 o'clock already. He did funnel all that trash. So she should head in. Um, so there goes the jump to lead her into that Inferno Tower. Does still have Queen ability. Remember, CC's already down. Uh, this charge has already been two minutes. He's got to get these drags down. Uh, he's got to get these drags down. Here comes the Hound out of the CC. Um, it does have that loon right behind it that also came out of the CC and the drags are, are going to be beating on the town hall. Notice guys, the Inferno Tower is down already. I, I, I'm just more concerned with time at this point. Uh, does still have one rage. Looks like the queen is going to go down. There she goes. Uh, use that his fourth and final rage on that Inferno Tower where that, um, or use that fourth and final rage where that last Inferno Tower was in that compartment. And, th I mean, that was an epic queen charge. That was a beautiful queen charge. Basically charged from 3 o'clock all the way over to 8. Uh, it, I just feel like the, the drag, the plan looks good. I just think the drags need to come in a lot sooner. Um, even if they were able to get through. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure. There's still quite a bit up on that back end. So it was a very, very nice try by Seabass on that one. So go ahead and give him very nice... Very nice try. And see if we can catch another live. But that was a very, very good attack. Again, an epic queen charge. Um, I mean, if someone does hit that base, maybe something else for the back end. Uh, maybe hogs or something like that. Uh, but the queen charge definitely, definitely got very, very good value. Let's go ahead and see if we can get another live. Right, guys, this is the very last attack. Just under seven minutes left in the war. This is our last hit. We have used 99 attacks. This one is the 100th right here. We got Rio going in on 11 v 11. Right before this one, before I could get the recorder set up, we had a 98% 11, uh, 11 v 11 attempt by uh, Top Ramen. And it was so close came down probably needed 
maybe three, if not four seconds left on the clock to get that triple. We do have two 11 v 11s though. Um, we'll see how this one pans out. We do have two 11 v 11s. We have eight uh, 10 v 10s, uh, Town Hall 10 triples, uh, Emphatic Elite and One Hive 2.0 fam. They have five 10 v 10s. They do not have an 11 v 11 yet, but we'll go ahead and check out the map after we watch uh, this queen charge Lalo from Rio. And look at those healers, guys. Check those healers out. Absolutely amazing looking. Uh, the graphic, look at on the, uh, the graphic on once the rage goes away. Very, very nice. And not only do they look cool, but they heal so much faster and keep that queen alive. I mean, she can have so many point defenses on her, especially under a raid. She's, she's damn near invincible. So we got Rio walking uh, from three heading on down. Here comes the Lalo. Uh, has a very nice AD layout for the Lalo. Queen already took out two of the ADs, uh, starting his Lalo over here at 9 o'clock. Does have quite a few spells left for the loons. Does have a couple skelly spells. And he has four more loons to deploy, a rage and a haste. Very nice warden ability. Notice he did have the warden on air behind the loons. Did not use the warden for the queen charge part. So we'll go ahead and see how this ends. Those loons are just dying off right here. Uh, over here at about 10 o'clock. So this is definitely going to be a fail. Very nice try uh, to Rio. I mean, 11 v 11, especially with the added defenses uh, as the Town Hall 11s are catching up. It's very, very difficult. Uh, despite the base out, very, very difficult. So as you can see it right here, guys. We have 122 stars on the board for our side. Emphatic Elite has 101 stars. And I'm not sure if they're going to be swagging hits or what, they, what they're going to be doing here. Okay, as far as the dips, guys, remember, like I said throughout the video, uh, we could have 12 dips um, from our 11s dipping down on the 10s. We went 12 for 12, 100% on dips. Emphatic Elite had three dip fails. So again, they have four minutes for seven attacks. Um, so we're just gonna have to see how it pans out, but it pretty much we have this one sealed up in the bag, already broke down the stats. We'll go ahead and check back and see what the final score is when this epic heavy hitter war comes to an end. All right, guys, checking back as you see it right there, zero seconds until the war ends. Just waiting on this attack by Robos. There it goes right there. War has ended. And Clantonimo Bay and Forge from Steel Family, a.k.a. Forge by the Bay, walking away with the victory on this one where we ward Emphatic Elite and One Hive 2.0 family. 122 to 101 was the final. And remember, guys, this was a 1238 breakdown. Just a heavy hitter extravaganza. I've never been a part of a war like this, as well as quite a few others. Um... And it was a lot of fun, I'll tell you right now. This was a lot of fun. Nothing against Town Hall 9s, but every single hit, either being from a Town Hall 10 or a Town Hall 11, was absolutely amazing. And we had so much fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A little uh, live on uh, Battle Day here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, and we got the victory, making it that much more sweeter. And Emphatic Elite did play a very good war. And it's a lot different. Not getting scouts, hitting all those Town Hall 10s fresh. And even picking up, you know, a couple 11 v 11 triples. So all in all, it was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And Emphatic Elite, we had a lot of fun. I'm glad we were able to get this arranged war set up. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next video.